to make him known hallelujah so we i want to welcome you to the part four of good versus evil an interesting topic yes because um when you think about some of the things that the lord is teaching us in this season at times you'll also have to 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 get uh, a place where you'll have to ask yourself what am I, what is the lord saying to my life so let us turn in the book of um genesis genesis chapter 1 from verse 26 and the bible says then god said let us make man in our image according to our likeness let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him male and female. He created them. Verse 28. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. I just want, this is, um, because this day uh, I, I want to um, just to submit to us what the Lord desires. The Lord desires that we be fruitful and we multiply. That is the desire of the Lord upon your life. You be fruitful and you multiply. Hallelujah. Let us, let us see um, our key text in the book of John chapter 12 verse 24. The Bible says, most assuredly I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. That unless a grain of wheat falls in the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. You see, God desires that we be fruitful and we multiply. We are, we are being fruitful in our deeds, in our actions, because that is the, what, one of the desires that God, when he created each and every one of us, is that we may be fruitful. But, but again when uh, it's good to understand that for, yes uh, that for you to be fruitful a seed has to happen a seed has to be planted praise jesus for you to be fruitful and for you to multiply a seed has to be planted and not only for the seed to be planted but the seed must die because unless the, the grain of uh, a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies it remains alone so when you are when you are a seed and you have not died then you remain alone but if it dies it produces much grain praise the lord so if the seed the seed of goodness if the character of goodness in you it dies then it, you will produce more and by that you will become fruitful and multiply hallelujah so this morning it's just um a moment where we need to think about what 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 type of seeds are we planting because for you to be fruitful a seed must be present and the seed must die for it to become fruitful so if you plant a seed of goodness it must die and then it must become fruitful if you plant a seed of evil it will die and it will become fruitful so it is upon you to decide what kind of a seed you want to plant because the desire of the Lord is that you may become fruitful and for you to multiply hallelujah praise Jesus amen the character of being good or evil is dependent on what seed you plant hallelujah let's turn in the book of galatians chapter 7 and in this give me the amplified version 
Galatians chapter 6 or Galatia 6 the name of the Lord is to be exalted and to be magnified. Jina lake Bwana ni la kuinuliwa na kutukuzwa. The Bible says if any person is overtaken in misconduct or sin of any sort, you who are spiritual, who are responsive to and are controlled by the spirit, should set him right and restore verse 7, sorry. Mstari wa 7. Verse 7. Yes. Do not be deceived and deluded and misled. God will not allow himself to be sneered at, scorned, disdained, or mocked by the mere pretensions or professions by which, by, uh, or by his precepts being set aside. He inevitably deludes himself who attempts to delude God. For whatever a man sows, that and that only is what he will reap. Praise Jesus. Amen. Whatever a man sows, that and that only. Hallelujah. Whatever you plant, whatever you plant, that and that only will you reap. Verse 8. For he who sows to his own flesh, lower nature, sensuality, will from the flesh reap decay and ruin and destruction. But he who sows to the spirit will from the spirit reap eternal life. Hallelujah. So whatever you, you, you plant, whatever you sow, you will not reap whatever, you will not reap that which you did, need, did, you did not sow. So if you plant the character of goodness, if you plant a good seed upon your life, if you plant a good seed upon, upon someone's life, then you will receive that which you planted. Because when you, when you plant the character of evil, when you you, you, you plant the seed the seed of evil then you will receive the, the, you will receive decay you will be ruined and it will amount to destruction but because the, one of the one of the uh, one of the fruit of the spirit is goodness when you sow to the spirit you will from the spirit reap eternal life hallelujah hallelujah so it is it is of importance that we know what we need to plant it is, of, it is of importance to know what kind of a seed will I lay down, will I plant because when I plant this seed it will die and it will multiply if I plant the seed of evil it will die it will bring about the decay it will bring ruin and destruction upon my life but if I sow the, 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 the seed of goodness if I sow a good seed then I will reap from the spirit and of the spirit is eternal life hallelujah so it is of more importance on because you see the Lord is us that you may become fruitful. That is the desire of the Lord. That you will be fruitful and multiply. And the desire of the Lord is that you may reap of the seed of the Spirit. Because the seed of the Spirit will bring about eternal life. Hallelujah. Let's, um, I, 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 let, let's see how how do we sow the good seeds how do we plant the good seeds let's turn uh, to the book of first corinthians chapter three hallelujah first corinthians chapter three verse eight and nine first corinthians chapter three verse eight and nine i will read um from verse five Give me the New King James version. New King James. Who then is Paul and who is Apollos, but ministers through whom you believed as the Lord gave to each one? Verse 6. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. We are, uh, we are, we are, we are learning on how do, we sow the, uh, how do we plant the good seed. But before we do that, it is of importance that we will uh, to notice that in some at, at some at some given point in your life 
you will have to plant in, in someone's life you will have to plant and water you will plant the good seed and at some uh, uh, people's life again you will all water the good seed that is in them but of importance is to know that the, the lord is the one who gives the increase so him who plants and him who waters they are one hallelujah but the Lord gives the increase. So, when you plant the seed, when you water the seed, leave it to God, because He will cause the increase. And He will bring about fruitfulness. He will bring about multiplication. Let's go to verse 7. So, neither he who plants is anything, nor he who waters, but God who gives the increase. So, um, it, is, it is of importance to understand that when you plant a good seed when you water a good seed what you're doing is that you're fulfilling your servant assignment praise the lord when you plant a good seed in someone's life when you water a good seed in someone's life you are fulfilling servant a servant assignment because the one who plants the seed and the one who waters they are one but it is God who gives the increase. So this morning, I want to encourage each and every one of us. It is, do not grow weary of doing good. Do not grow weary of planting good seeds. Because the Lord is the one who will bring the increase. And other than the Lord bringing the increase, you are fulfilling your servant assignment. Hallelujah. Because the Lord, uh, one of the reasons again, God says is, is that um, that He has created, He has created us for the good works. So when you plant a seed in someone's life, when you water the seed in someone's life, then you are fulfilling the assignment of God upon your life. So do not grow weary. Do not grow weary of planting good seeds. You know, some of us here, um, when when we when you have given maybe uh my brother elton here he maybe he comes to me and says john i am i, I don't have fair home hallelujah that is on monday prayers then on wednesday he comes again and tells me john you know the the economy is so difficult we are living in 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 in, in, a, in, a, in a not in a very good time so again i don't have fear you know why the lord why the lord is giving me elton is because he knows that i can fulfill i can fulfill my servant assignment so when i give him when i provide what i am doing is that it is for my own sake it is for my own good because i fulfill i fulfill the servant assignment that has been placed over my life so i should not focus on the seed i should not focus on the giving but focus on what the lord has placed upon my life for if the lord has blessed me over my life that i will be a blessing then i need to start walking in the blessing and by walking in the blessing i have to plant the seed and i have to what are the seeds? Praise Jesus. And so it is of importance if you are seated there and um, you, you just feel like I am growing where I am. Keep doing the good things. Keep planting the good seeds. Because now you have a revelation that I am, I, I, what I am doing is that I am fulfilling my godly assignment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God is, is is he he's the one who is in the center of the process and he will bring the seed to maturity hallelujah hallelujah so just do your do your manual jobs do your works plant the seeds and because let's see verse 8 now he who plants and he who waters are one and each one will receive his own reward according to his own labor it has rewards the seed that you plant has rewards it has rewards as we read uh, uh, earlier on that if you plant 
according to your flesh you will receive decay ruin and destruction but if you plant in the spirit you will receive eternal life hallelujah so do not grow weary while doing good do not lose heart for in the in due season you will uh, you shall reap uh, for for uh, what 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 you have planted that is according to the book of that is according to the book of galatians chapter 6 verse 9 look for the opportunity look for an opportunity to plant the good seed look for an opportunity to water the seed because when you do that a reward you will receive a reward hallelujah hallelujah so uh, how do we plant the good seeds is that we must we must trust in the Lord. Let's turn to the book of Jeremiah chapter 17. Jeremiah chapter 17. This is a verse that if not all we know it um 17 verse 7. And the Bible says blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. Verse 8, For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river, and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will, green, will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease, uh, nor will cease from yielding fruit. Praise Jesus. When you trust in the Lord, you will be like a tree planted by the waters. In some versions it says that you will be like a tree planted by the by river inside, which will spread out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes. So even when you're going through out uh, when you're going through a, a dry season in your life, you will not you will not fear when the heat comes because your leaf will be green and you will not be anxious even in, in the drought why because you are you are planted by the riverside that is you are planted in god you you have your trust in god because you know that your work is to plant you know your work is to water but the lord is the one who will give the increase your roots will spread out you will not fear and you will be green during every season because you have put your trust in god hallelujah hallelujah so it, it is a moment that we sing that we are planting good seeds but again we are again noticing that we are not our work is to plant when we plant we leave it to god because he will give the increase because he desires that we may multiply and be fruitful hallelujah he desires that we may be fruitful and bring multiplication hallelujah therefore trust in the lord trust in the lord because you will in all seasons you will be fruitful hallelujah the second thing is that you need to hope in the lord you must hope in the lord uh, we continue with um uh, and will not be anxious in the year of drought nor will cease in the nor will cease from yielding fruit that is, we, we get it from uh, verse, the, the last part of verse 8. Then the third thing is that you need to anchor your faith in his word. Let's see in the book of John, chapter 15, verse 4. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. You have to anchor your faith in his word. You have to anchor your, yourself in him. Hallelujah. Because he desires that you may abide in him. And he will abide in you. And when you abide in him. And him in you. You will bear fruit. Because a branch cannot bear fruit. Unless it abides in the vine. So unless you abide in the Lord. 
you cannot become fruitful unless you abide in the vine you can never become fruitful because again you just just picture this we say that this, the seed has to be planted and it has to die but the one the one who gives the increase is the lord so imagine your work your work finish uh, in, in in asia the part where you plant and the seed dies so if you plant the seed and then you, the seed dies you fail to trust in the lord you fail to hope in the lord the seed will just die but if you trust in the lord if you hope in the lord if you anchor your faith in the word of god the seed will you will plant the seed it will it will it will, it, it will die and the lord will bring the increase hallelujah, hallelujah. so plant the good seed let the good seed die and then leave it to the lord for it to become fruitful because he desires that you may become fruitful hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord uh the fourth thing is that um we need to walk in the spirit for we are the children of the light Let's see the book of Ephesians chapter 8. Ephesians chapter 8. Ephesians chapter 8. Verse 1. Ephesians chapter 8. The name of the Lord is great and awesome. Ephesians. There is none like you, O oh Lord our God. We bless your name. And we give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. Sorry, um that that should be that should be Ephesians chapter I think I I love the verse yes sorry uh, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 8 the Bible says for you were once in darkness but now you are light in the Lord walk as children of the light verse 9 for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness righteousness and truth verse 10 finding out what is acceptable to the lord hallelujah therefore you will need to walk in the spirit for we were once in darkness hallelujah we were once the children of darkness but now but now because we have received the light we need to walk according to the light let's go back to verse 9 for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness righteousness and truth that is what the lord desires of us that we may uh, we may have the fruit of the spirit because the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness righteousness and truth therefore if you have been uh, you have received redemption walk as, as a child of the light shun all darkness because you are a child of the light a child of the light will not plant bad seeds a child of the light will not cause havoc unto people's life but when you are a child of the of, of the light you, 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 you speak you bring the fruit of the spirit and that is goodness that is righteousness that is truth hallelujah you plant this the, 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 the seed of goodness upon people's life you plant the seed of righteousness and you plant the seed of truth hallelujah therefore because you are a child of the light look for an opportunity to walk according to the spirit to not not to gratify the, the, the desires of the flesh because the desires of the flesh will bring about ruin upon your life they will bring destruction over your life it will decay the seed will decay but if you plant the seed of goodness the seed of goodness will amount to eternal life yes you are immortal but the lord has entrusted you with the eternal life because the lord desires that you may plant the seed of goodness you may plant the seed of goodness upon people's life therefore child of god i pray that you will look for an opportunity to plant the seed of goodness you will look for an opportunity to plant the seed of, of goodness over the people's life what are the seed of goodness because at the end of the day you will receive your reward and the reward comes from the lord praise jesus the reward comes from the lord 
if you plant the seed and you direct your trust in man you will receive the reward of man man does not desire that you may become fruitful man does not desire that you may become you may multiply in fact he desires that he will you will be confined by his environment you will be confined to the same circle that you have been desiring but the Lord desires that you may become fruitful the Lord desires that you may multiply but you have a choice this day you have a choice this day because God has given you the knowledge of good, the good and the evil you have a choice this day it is up to you to plant to whether to desire if you plant the seed of good because at due time you will receive your increase hallelujah 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 are there any children of the light in this place how many are saying that we need to plant the seeds of goodness because we have been we have been removed from darkness hallelujah therefore I, if I, I am not in darkness, I need to start walking and operating in the light. Light separates darkness and, and it, 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 it separates the darkness. Hallelujah. So the seeds of evil, they are of darkness. But the seed of the light, they are of goodness. Hallelujah. And you will receive your increase. So choose for yourself what what seed you want to plant because when you plant it it will die and it will again you will reap what you plant when you plant the seed of goodness it will die and it will uh, the lord will cause it to increase because he desires multiplication he desires that you may become fruitful and every tree that is fruitful every tree that is fruitful attracts those who are of the tree and those who do not know the tree hallelujah, hallelujah. so if you plant the good seed you will attract those who are of the kingdom and you will also attract those who are not of the kingdom because there is a seed there is a peculiar seed in you hallelujah you are the chosen generation of God hallelujah plant good seeds hallelujah let's see at the hindrances uh, for planting of the good seeds blessed be the name of the Lord hallelujah Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read from the book of Romans chapter 2. Tusome kutoka kitabu cha Warumi mlango wa pili. Verse 4. Mstari wa 4. Romans chapter 2 verse 4. And the Bible says, Biblia inasema, or do you despise the riches of his goodness, forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance hallelujah Amen. the lord has given us the knowledge of good and evil but we need to st to stop despising the riches of his goodness the, his forbearance his long suffering because when you know the good and the evil this will lead you to repentance this will point you to the issues pertaining your heart the goodness of the lord it will lead you to repentance hallelujah so i invite you to a point that you need to have a self uh, a, a conversation with yourself so that you may know the, uh, the Lord will, will reveal to you have you despised his riches the riches of his goodness and if you have despised the riches of his goodness then the Lord the goodness the same same goodness of the Lord it will lead you to repentance hallelujah Amen. let's see um, the, the book of Psalms the book of Psalms from verse 3 when i consider your heavens the works of your fingers the moon and the stars which you have ordained 
what is man that you're mindful of him and the son of man who you visit for you have made him a little lower than the angels and they and you have crowned him with glory and honor hallelujah when i consider the works of the heaven the works of your finger the moon and the stars which you have ordained who am i hallelujah who am i who is john that the lord is mindful of this day the lord is mindful of your life in as much as the bible says in the book of psalms that the are uh, the earth and all its fullness the, they are of god but the lord is mindful of you because his goodness will lead you to repentance therefore do not despise the goodness of the lord do not despise the goodness of the lord because the lord is mindful of you other than him he being mindful of you he has crowned you with glory and honor but this glory the glory is not yours the honor is not yours it is unto the lord therefore it is a moment where you need to subject yourself to the spirit of god if you have despised the riches of his goodness you may pray for repentance that the seed the evil seed in you may be removed because the goodness of the lord it will lead you to repentance hallelujah amen so what what hinders us from planting the good seeds let's go back to the book of romans chapter 2 Romans chapter 2. Warumi mlango wa pili. Let's go to verse 5. Mlango After we have understood that the goodness of the Lord will lead us to repentance. But in accordance with your hardness and your impenitent heart, you are treasuring up for yourself wrath in the day of wrath in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of god so what hinders you what hinders you from planting the good seed is stubbornness one is stubbornness you forget that god is mindful of you and because god is mindful of you you need again to be mindful of other people therefore this day we need, we need to to break off from every stubborn stubbornness every unrepentant heart because the second point of what hinders you from planting the good seed is unrepentant heart amen so break off from stubbornness and break off from the unrepentant heart praise jesus because uh let's let's see verse six for he will render to every man according to his works i i i this 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 issue um this 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 uh the what, what the things that the lord is saying this morning is that do whatever you want because he has given you the option but he will render to every man according to his work justly as he deserves as you deserve hallelujah hallelujah so it is up to you this morning if you want to if you if, if you want to reap of the good you need to render you need to sow good, the good seeds hallelujah hallelujah verse 7 to those who by patience patient persistence in well doing springing from piety seek and sin but sure glory and honor and internal blessedness of immortality he will give eternal life hallelujah therefore we need to be patient we need to be persistent when we are planting the seeds hallelujah, hallelujah. because uh, yes thank you eternal life to those who by patient continuance in doing good there is continuity in doing good we do not just do good once it is a continuous process so um 
eternal life to those who by patient continuance in doing good seek for glory and honor and, uh, and, and immortality. So the Lord gives you glory. The Lord gives you honor. And as the word said, that he gives you eternal life. If you continually plant good seeds, if you continually water good seeds, the Lord will give you glory. The glory of the Lord will be upon you. The Lord will cause you to be honored. And with eternal life, will he bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The third thing that, that, uh, that, that derails us from planting good seeds is self-seeking and disobedience to the truth. Let's go to verse 8. Self-seeking and disobedient to the truth. But to those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation and wrath, verse 9, Tri tribulation and anguish on every soul of man who does evil of the Jew first and also of the, of the Greek so what we are just uh, we, we are tabulating is if you do good the Lord will give you glory the, God, the Lord will give you honor and with, uh, with eternal life will he bless you but if you do evil the Lord will uh, the Lord will, 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 will cause trouble upon your heart. There will be anguish and there will be distress because you have planted the bad seed. So this day, you must seek to obey the truth. You, you must seek to obey Christ because they are rewards. The rewards Zawadi. for planting good seed is glory, honor, and, 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 and eternal life. Zawadi ni uzima wa milele. But if you obey unrighteousness, Lakini unapoti kukosa kuwa mwadilifu, then um, what, what you are bringing about your life is anguish Kile ni and, 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 and the wrath of God, na ya ruining and destruction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So at this moment, I just want to invite us to a point. The Lord says, this is the way. Mungu hili Make wakia. your choice. Fanya Hallelujah. He is the light. He is the truth and he is the life. Choose for yourself what seed will you plant. If you plant the seed of good, the glory of the Lord will be upon you. The honor of the Lord will be upon you. The, the, the God will grant you uh, eternal life. Hallelujah. Quickly, let's, let's, let's see um, the book of uh, Psalms, Psalms chapter 23. It's a verse we, we memorize. We say each and every day. And the Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my souls. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In this life, you will walk through the valley of the shadow of death, but you will not fear because the Lord has given the, the glory of the Lord is upon you God has honored you and because uh, the, you have put your trust in God then you will fear no evil because he will lead you to the still waters he will lead you uh, to the path of righteousness for his namesake hallelujah because you have made him to be your shepherd then you will not want anything hallelujah Therefore, this morning, it is of, of, of importance that we need to allow God. We need, we need to allow uh, verse, verse, verse 4. Yes, for you are with me. We need to allow the rod of God and the staff of God to comfort us. Hallelujah. For you have to abide in him. 
and he in you if you desire to be fruitful hallelujah but other than that you need to allow the staff of god the rod of god to comfort you in the character of goodness because when you allow the rod of god when you allow the the, 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 the staff of god he will lead you to the paths of righteousness not for your own sake but for his name's sake so trust in the lord trust in the lord this day knowing that when you allow the lord to guide you he will lead you to the path of righteousness for his his namesake because the battle does not belong to you you are not the one who created yourself he created you so that you may become fruitful and be hallelujah allow the rod of god and his staff to comfort you he's comforting you in his goodness when we sing that the goodness of of the lord is running after me it is running after you when you have been confined when you have been surrounded by the lord hallelujah Hallelujah. Amen. So this morning I submit to you that it's a choice. Hallelujah. It's a choice that you have to make. Praise Jesus. Let's read uh, the book of Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12 from verse 1. I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy acceptable to God which is your reasonable service verse 2 and do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind just as we said that the character of goodness is a continuous process brings continuity we need to yes we are in the world but but we will not be conformed to the patterns of the world the patterns of the world will lead to destruction because the fruit of the world is evil hallelujah therefore we need to be transformed by the renewing of our mind it's a continuous process hallelujah so what happens when you do not conform but you are transformed by the renewal of your mind you will be able to prove what is good what is acceptable and the perfect will of God hallelujah you will be able to prove you will be able to test what is good what is acceptable and what is the perfect will of God so the battle does not belong to you what you we need to do is that you need to desire transformation the renewal of your mind so that you may be able to test and prove hallelujah hallelujah the next um the other thing after we have been transformed we need to allow God to prune us. We need to allow God to prune us. Let's see in the book of John from um, from verse 15. Let's read uh, verse 2. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruits, he prunes that it may bear more fruit hallelujah every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes it away and every branch that bears fruit he prunes it why is the lord taking you through the process of pruning so that you can bear more fruit and so that your fruit will remain hallelujah pruning will cause you to be fruitful praise jesus pruning will cause you to be fruitful allow god to prune your life that he may remove every dirt in your life and he may cause you to become fruitful and other than you becoming fruitful he will cause you he will cause the seed that is in you to remain 
so that even when you are long gone your generation will carry the seed of God hallelujah so even if you are not mindful of yourself you need to mind about your generation because your seed is meant to, to, to remain your seed is meant to remain the seed of evil will cause destruction over your life the seed of evil it will decay hallelujah the seed of evil will bring the wrath of God but the seed of God it is of continuity praise Jesus your seed must remain so choose even if not for yourself choose for the sake of your generation that your seed will remain praise the Lord choose that the seed of God will remain Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And finally, let's read the book of Psalms, chapter 121. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is a great and awesome God. Psalms 121. Lord, we love you and we exalt your name this day from verse 7 the bible says the lord shall preserve you from all evil he shall preserve your soul what the lord is the, the lord today will preserve your soul he will preserve you from every evil but you need to surrender yourself before god you need to desire that the seed that you will plant it will die and the Lord will bring increase because what he will do when you have given yourself to him because as we said that him who waters and him who plants they are one hallelujah they are fulfilling the, their servanthood but the one who brings the increase is the lord the one who preserves you from all evil the one who preserves your soul and your soul will not face immortality hallelujah your soul will be eternal hallelujah mm. praise jesus mm. so i don't know what is what 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 from this um topic today the of planting and sowing good seeds because we have been taught the, the, or the all things that we need to shun evil and the Lord desires that we may plant good seeds the Lord desires that you may water the good seeds in other people what is it that is blessing in your heart this day I want us to rise up before the presence of God and just exalt the name of the Lord because the Lord will preserve our souls this day we shall not die we shall live and our seeds will live in the mighty name of Jesus. Take your space and ask of the Lord. Malaki zena maraka debere na malana mashela badali kozaraba makate barina mazana mashela barana mazalaba as the deer panted for the waters of God so my soul longs after the Lord in the name of Jesus for you alone are my strength in the name of Jesus oh God you alone are my hope in the name of Jesus oh God you alone are my strength O King of Kings oh God yeka mane remazire bereka debere nama ma etagira de shekata la Come on, surrender before God in the name of Jesus. You alone are our strength, O God. You alone, O King of Kings, O God. You make us yield, O God, in the name of Jesus. You alone, O King of Kings, O God. We bless your name. We glorify your name in the mighty name of Jesus, O God. For you desire us to be fruitful, O God. You desire us to multiply, O God. We desire to yield in the spirit, O God. We desire to yield in the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, O God. Yanishikarabarani Sirana Maladizimalakataraba. 
maya de zekada mare de reboche katara mize katala malabe zekanama la kadime zekatala mazere bere katara baranama bare kadime re de bozi kapale ishi agara bala kantama badire kete vena masitere bere na malanama father we bless you and we give you all the glory for you alone our king oh god in the name of jesus oh god and we honor your name we bless your name oh god as the deep panted for the water us, oh God, so our souls long for you, King of Kings, oh God, that we may produce the good seed, oh God, the seed that will remain, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. We pray this day, Jehovah God, preserve our souls, oh King of our glory, in the mighty name of Jesus. For you alone are our strength, oh God, you are our strength, oh God, our fortress and our keeper, in the name of Jesus, oh God.